trying to connect to my Pebble Bee right now, but it's not working. Maybe this will be foreshadowing for my review. Apple AirTags are pretty amazing, except one place. Wallets. A while back, I reviewed a wallet finder compatible with the Apple Find My app, the Chipolo Card Spot. My experience with it was, well, pretty bad. But to the point, it was basically non-functioning. Commenters on that video mentioned the Pebble Bee card, so I ended up ordering it and receiving it in early August of 2022. Now that I've had it for five months, I feel like it's time I can finally review it. To test out the Pebble Bee, I decided to toss my skis into my car and make the trek to the snowy east side of Mount Hood. We may as well just skip the introductions and get straight into the review. I decided to make my review during a cross-country ski session, as this would be a place you would not want to lose your wallet. Like all Find My Compatible devices, Apple keeps the best for themselves. Find My Compatible trackers do not give you precision tracking like Apple's AirTags. Instead, you can only get approximate locations and the ability to ping your device so it can play a sound. This puts third-party trackers at a distinct disadvantage. The Pebble Bee card is a simple design. The dimensions are roughly that of a credit card, making it easy to fit into any wallet with card holders. At 2.8 millimeters thick, it's about as thick as two to three credit cards. It uses a rechargeable battery with a magnetic cable, and Pebble Bee boasts the battery lasts about 12 months. After about five months of use, I'm still over at least a half charge, so this seems to be somewhat accurate. The Pebble Bee does boost a IPX rating of 6, so it is water resistant, and I've definitely put it through the test through owning this as I've hiked in the rain, and as you can see I keep chucking it in the snow, and it keeps working. The biggest issue with my Chipolo is it stopped updating its location, but it would still randomly chirp. Whereas the Pebble Bee has somewhat of an inverse problem. It's fairly reliable when it comes to updating its location, more on that in a second, but it mostly doesn't chirp unless you're very close. I'll demonstrate this in a second. It wasn't always this case. It used to work better-ish. It's just a little dot on the ground over there. And let's see if we can beep it. And it looks like it's item not reachable. Right here. So it's about effective from two feet. It's not always prone to updating the locations and I can't tell if this is a flaw of the iPhone or this card in particular because it seems like these third party devices just don't update the same amount as the Apple AirTags. This leaves the Pebble Bee in a semi-working state. I have a generalized idea of where my wallet is, but it won't help me locate it if it's say, well, wedged in my couch where just chirping it would be ideal. The Pebble Bee is certainly superior to my experience with the Chipolo, but that's hardly bragging rights. This brings me back to the same conundrum as I had before. Tile offers a much more reliable solution with its cards and Apple offers the best in class experience. Each has its unique set of issues. Tile was bought by the morally bankrupt company Life360, which made its money by mining user data from a family safety app and then selling it. Life360 did reform itself somewhat. Now it's only selling its data on tire families to a single data broker, who may or may not sell that data down the line one day. We know how Apple makes its money by its walled garden ecosystem. Although it's not beyond reproach, it's Apple's jumped into the advertising game deeper with its news app and app store. Apple is certainly the lesser of two evils when it comes to data privacy, but the AirTag is ill-suited for wallets. At least this guy actually works on like the Chipolo that I was testing. You should check out that video because it's nuts how bad that thing was. Maybe at some point in the future, someone will get this right, but so far I've yet to find one of these wallet style tags that actually work well. The best I've ever found thus far is Tile, if you're looking for the Slim Wallet. Except for now that they're selling all your data, you know, I just can't bring myself to use it. Now I'm using the much more bulky Apple AirTag. 
is more accurate and it's the best thing I found outside the tile wallets. I did do a surprising amount of tests that just didn't make it into this video because it was quite frankly boring. I couldn't get it to reliably connect, but it would continuously update the map for approximate locations. For that to work, I had to be roughly 25 feet away, tops. In my test, both the AirTags and the Pebble Beach card had a range of about 25 to maybe 30 feet. For the rest of the world not using freedom units, this is approximately 9 meters. These results are expected as this is roughly the maximum range of the iPhone's Bluetooth capabilities. The Apple AirTag is hands down the winner simply for the fact that it works and reliably chirps, not to mention it's more accurate. After being burned so bad by Chipolo, I really wanted this one to work. But the problem is, is working partially is not the same as working completely. And with the limited functionality compared especially to the Apple AirTags, it's hard for me to justify really keeping it around. It's time to close out this review. I'm going to do that over a barrel-aged craft beer. Maybe third-party Find My trackers will improve in time, but for now, it really seems like the only one worth buying is the Apple AirTag.